So, if you've been a One Piece fan for any amount of time, you've probably heard of the term Monster Trio. The Monster Trio comes from the phrase said by Nami during the Thriller Bark arc in Chapter 455 when she, Usopp, and Chopper are hanging around inside Perona's bear, Kumasi. It is when she hears that Zoro, Sanji, and Luffy have been captured, she says, Why, why were our three monsters caught first? Or why were the three strongest guys in our crew caught first? The translation differs depending on where you're reading, but the idea is still the same. She's still referring to the trio of Luffy, Zoro, and Sanji as the three strongest guys, the three monsters of the Straw Hat crew. What's interesting about all of this now is that not only is this a canonical term, but this happens in the Thriller Bark arc, which is Moria's arc. So, based on the information that we have gotten from the recent Vivicar drop as of this recording, it's very interesting how it's heavily implied that both Perona and Moria might join Cross Guild. With that being said, did you know that sometimes in Japanese culture, an X is referred to as a cross? meaning it has four big sections, up, down, left, and right. And then we have a double entendre because a crucifix is also referred to as a cross sometimes. So, taking that into consideration, it's very interesting that we have a Yonko organization, much like the Straw Hat crew, called Cross Guild, made up of past arc antagonists. So, if Moria does join Cross Guild, if we're taking these doodles into consideration that were shown to us in the Vivicar drop, then it's very possible that he could be the fourth head of Cross Guild, along with former ARC bosses Buggy, Crocodile, and Mihawk. Now, going off of that idea, I think they too will probably get a big catch-all term like the Straw Hats in which the Straw Hats have the monster trio of Luffy, Sanji, and Zoro, the Cross Guild may have something called maybe a Big Four, referring to Mihawk, Buggy, Crocodile, and Moria, because they are the only big, intimidating ARC bosses in the organization. Even if other ARC bosses join, something tells me these four will remain the main focus. Now, Going back to the cross idea, it's very interesting, and I just picked this up, that these four, ironically, are very on brand with the name of their organization because they are covered in crosses, either crucifixes or axes. Starting at the top with the boss, Buggy, he has always been characterized by the Jolly Roger on his hat and the face paint in the form of crossbones on his forehead that go usually over his eye into like his cheek, right? And they always come in the form of an X. Now, his face paint has changed from arc to arc, but the most popular depiction of his face paint are crossbones. So yes, he is characterized by an X. Moving on to Mihawk, Mihawk, is always covered in crucifixes because he has one hanging from his neck which acts as a dagger then he has the big yoru blade on his back which is just a big crucifix so that too is very interesting moving down the line we have crocodile crocodile is a bit more complex it's a bit more hidden but it makes a lot of sense because the two most i guess well-known designs now are his first design in the Alabaster arc, and now his current design in Cross Guild. In the Alabaster arc, he has an orange shirt on that looks like alligator scales, and I did a video on this, but the grid pattern also looks like a bunch of X's. Then, when you get to the Cross Guild design, his purple vest, now covered in a diamond pattern, too, looks like a bunch of crosses, and it also doubles as like the back scales of an alligator or a crocodile but that brings us to the iconic face scar that goes all across his face over the bridge of his nose right that too is a bunch of little crucifixes because if you break it down they all look like a bunch of little lowercase t's strung together so i'll take that too as a form of a cross or an x this then brings us to the fourth head 
Moria. Moria has a combination of all of these attributes, which I find fascinating because like Mihawk, he wears a crucifix around his neck that turns into a tattoo of some sort where he becomes Shadow's Asgard. I don't know what that's about. That's weird. But then he, like Crocodile, and in a way like Buggy, has these X-shaped stitches that start from his forehead and go down his neck. So, because the stitches are the form of X's, that too puts him on brand with the organization. And then lastly, in his clothing, like Crocodile, he wears a mesh top, which is just a bunch of X's strung together. And then his pants are in like this funky grid pattern, which look like big blocked off crucifixes when you take in the yellow blocks and mix them in with the negative space of the orange pants. Then two, one last thing I want to point out, the crucifix appears again in the time in which he attacks Hoshinosu because he's wearing a red tie with the crucifix on the tie. So the cross branding never leaves him. And I find that very interesting. But with that being said, give me your thoughts and tell your friends about Polypy Wixit. <laughs>